Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for, so please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you and that is okay, so pick up what does and drop the rest for someone else to appreciate. Capiche? Capiche. Listen, y'all, I hope you're having a lovely day today. Um... I woke up this morning hearing this song, um, I believe it's called, or it's, I believe it's by Crossfade, the artist or the band Crossfade, but I don't remember the song name, but I kept hearing, um, what I really meant to say is that I'm sorry for the way I am. I never meant to be so cold. I never meant to be so. That's all I kept hearing. So, um, what I get from it, like the energy that I was feeling when I was hearing the song in my head was that there's someone here who really is regretful and they feel sad. They could be depressed right now. They could be, um, experiencing like the winter blues or something like this. Or this could be you flip it where it needs to go, baby boo. But, um, that's, that's what I kept hearing that song and it's like a sad regretful vibe okay like whoever this person is they genuinely feel remorse okay maybe this is someone here who screwed you over in the past um i feel like this is someone here who did not realize that they screwed you over or something or or they do realize that they screwed you over they just don't realize the impact that it made on you or something like that or it had on you they're understanding it now okay they're understanding the impact or they're like maybe they could have experienced a similar situation Okay, like for instance, someone here could have got done like they done did you and now they're feeling the pain. Okay, um, I also was picking up something here about a senator. Someone here could be a senator. You could be watching me. You could be a senator or someone here is trying to run to be a senator or become part of the Senate. I don't know. Okay, something like that is going on. I don't even know what a senator does. Someone here could uh, be seeing the angel number 111, 1234, which is 1234. You guys could be seeing the angel number 444 as well. You could be seeing the angel number 333. If so, this message is most likely for you. Um, let's look up this song real quick, though. Also, with the fact that the band is called Crossfade, um, someone here could be getting crossfaded because of the regret that they are feeling or the pain that they're going through right now. Which, if you don't know what crossfading means, is when you're mixing um, two different substances together and you're high. Okay. I also feel like someone here could be taking a lot of painkillers or some form of narcotic. Please don't do this. Okay. Um... But I've been picking that up too as well. But let me see. It starts off, the song is called Cold, by the way, and the band is called Crossfade. He starts off by saying, looking, looking back at me, I see I never really got it right. I never stopped to think of you. I'm always wrapped up in things I cannot win. You are the antidote that gets me by, something strong like a drug that gets me high, okay? What I really meant to say is that I'm sorry for the way I am. I never meant to be so cold, never meant to be so cold. Okay. And then it goes cold to you. I'm sorry about all the lies. Maybe in a different light, you can see me stand on my own again. Cause now I see you're the antidote that got me by something strong, like a drug that got me high. So there's somebody here that feels like, I don't know, this could be, 
This could be an energy vampire for some of you, not all y'all. Um, this could be somebody here who is realizing that your energy is what really got someone through something or your high vibration is something is, is something that someone is now missing because you helped them heal or you were helping them heal or you were helping them in some way. Like somebody is realizing that your presence, your energy was beneficial at one point and now that they don't have it, they are missing it. They feel the absence of it is the vibe it's giving okay um this is like someone realizing like they're mad because of they're mad at themselves because they messed up something that was good or some ah let me shut up um let me see what else this person wants to say they're sorry it says what i really meant to say is that i'm sorry for the way that i am blah 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 says, I never wanted you to see the screw up side of me that I keep locked inside of me so deep. It always seemed to get to me. I never really wanted you to go. So many things you should have known. I guess for me, there's just no hope. I never meant to be so cold. This is how somebody feels when it comes to you, baby boo. You all, you guys all could be also seeing um, the angel number 127 as well. Okay. Or the number 27. To me, that number just screams like lessons, karmic lessons being learned. Okay, lessons from the past coming coming back up around. Also, for some of you with this Mercury retrograde, you guys could be noticing that you, like, you're falling back on certain habits that you didn't, that you feel like you've already stopped doing. So for some of you, if you stop smoking cigarettes, you might find yourself having the urge to smoke a cigarette again. Don't do it, okay? I'm telling you right now, I'm your reminder. Don't do it, gosh diggity dang. Or if this is like something to where, you know, you stop drinking coffee. This is my own personal situation. If you stop drinking coffee like months ago and then all of a sudden you had this urge to start drinking coffee again, okay, which I did this morning. <laughs> because <laughs> i usually drink matcha anyway um maybe that's something that you're experiencing okay or there's something here that is coming back around it's coming to revisit you that you feel you felt like was over months ago or years ago it's coming back okay i also was picking up something here about like a sisterhood or this could just be a group of feminine energies. Um, I don't know. They're, they're making a pact. Or there's some sort of pact that's being made. Some sort of agreement. 12-12 could be very significant. Maybe they're making a pact to try to complete something. Or finish something up. Or um, maybe this is a group of women working on a project. I don't know. You could be part of this group of women don't have to be okay i also was picking up something about a, a castor oil some of you need to start doing a castor oil pack on um your stomach area okay and someone's name could be john or jim or joanne something with a j this could be your initial or someone else's initial someone here could be a heavy smoker though for real like someone here could really smoke a lot Let me find out what a senator does. <laughs> what is a senator? A senator is a person who works in the government. In the United States, senators are elected by voters to represent them in the state or federal senate. Each state in the U.S. elects two senators who serve six-year terms in Washington, D.C., where they pass laws and vote on policies, okay? So they're, represent they're representatives, okay? I don't know what that has to do with anybody, but um, senators have the exclusive authority to approve or reject um, presidential nominations, Oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe you're going to be put in a position of authority where you will have 
the power to approve or reject something and maybe this is what's making someone nervous mm. or maybe you got somebody here that wants you to represent something or maybe you are a representation of a group of people or you're a representation of a certain set of beliefs or ideologies or some what the hell is going on maybe that's why someone is trying to um what's going on someone's in their head someone's in their head about you this is giving the nine of swords or the eight of swords someone here could be stuck in their head about you they could be over thinking they could be stressed out i almost said over drinking someone here could be over drinking someone here could be self-medicating you need to knock it off don't be doing it please believe me i know okay it's a slippery slope when it comes to the drinking of the alcohol it's a slippery slope me i can't just have one once it pops it's off okay no thank you we have boss daddy says stable rich business owner ceo big dick energy so this is this could be somebody here who's in some sort of position of power or authority here who's all in their head about you they're overthinking or they're stressing out maybe because uh, they're in they want to put you in a third party or they're overthinking because of a choice that they made or someone's all in their head because you're this uh you could be this boss daddy flip it where it needs to go Mm. someone wants to start some sort of drama here for some of you because you're too busy winning okay so for some of you someone wants to get your attention they could be overthinking and over analyzing or being stressed out because they're trying to figure out a way to get your attention or try to get you back or trying to make something up to you or fix something with you but they're already entertaining other options or something like this something's a lot of drama or somebody comes with a lot of drama Something about a siren could be a significant mermaid energy. This could be good or bad. Fake smiles. Someone here is trying to pretend that they're happy about something when they're not. Or the Yeah, that's what I feel like. Someone's trying to pretend like they're happy in a situation when they're not. Some something's about to pop off. This energy right here in their head, it's giving like someone here is coming to a breaking point to where they're going to take action on what their heart is really wanting them to do or what their heart is really calling them to do. What's going on? The number nine. Yeah, someone's finally looking at something from a higher perspective. They're really this is someone here who's really like making a well-educated decision or something like someone has put a lot of thought into what they're about to do whatever this action is they're about to take um someone here has really weighed out the pros and cons someone has really sat there and was like figured out what they really truly value out of life or out of a relationship and they're going to make their decision number nine i'm also getting this is someone here who's now looking at a whole situation from a higher perspective and they're realizing your your side your point of view of what their actions ha what type of, of effect it made their actions why is it hard for me to talk trust your intuition okay so you're being guided right now to trust your intuition or this person is finally trusting their intuition when it comes to some sort of decision here they know that when they make this decision it may cause some sort of drama okay this person could be a gemini you could be a gemini you could have gemini somewhere in your chart this could be somebody who's a soulmate of yours or this could be somebody you have a soul connection with um doesn't have to be this is someone who definitely wants to communicate with you um we got taurus someone here could be a taurus you could be a taurus 
Maybe somebody wants to communicate something to you when it comes to commitment. Or you could be um, a Taurus Gemini cusp. The divine, whoever I'm speaking to, the divine is definitely guiding someone right now. And your intuition, you really need to listen to it. It's like vital for you two. This number 27 is very significant for somebody. That could be somebody's birthday, February 27th. That could be yours or someone else's. But yeah, there's drama here. This could be someone who has a hard time saying sorry. I don't know. This could be a love situation. It don't have to be though. Because this boss daddy card could be like an emperor energy. This could be a father figure. Could be an actual boss. Don't have to be though. In their head. Why are they in their head? Someone's in their head because um, they prejudged you. They misjudged you. They judged you too early. They rejected you too early instead of accepting you. That's why someone could be stressed out or ana over analyzing something here now. Maybe somebody in the past thought less of you. They could have thought that you were lazy or um, you were controlling or... Something. Why do we have boss daddy? Someone's name is Lorelai or Laura or something. We got criticism. People could be criticizing this person here who may have misjudged you in the past. And now they have a lot of anxiety. They could be feeling very anxious at this time. Why do we have a criticism? Mm -mm. What the fuck is this? Give me a second. This is going to piss me off. Let me use one of these. Actually, I'm getting called to use these. Someone could have listened to someone who has an entity attachment on them about you. And that's why they decided to reject you or that's how they were. That's how, that's why they made, they came to the decision that they came to. Ay, ay, ay. Why do we have a uh, criticism spirit? Adaptability and excitement. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Romance. Somebody wants to romance you. Maybe there's people that are now hounding this person being like tell them they stupid i don't know the number 33 is very significant or the number three is very significant someone here could have a gemini moon or a gemini jupiter or something but we have three and we have three Maybe in the past, somebody, they, they ignored their intuition when it came to how they felt about you with the romance of the bottom of the deck. I'm so tired of this storyline. Now somebody's discovering that, you know, they really love you, blah, 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 blah. They want commitment with you. They want a marriage with you. Maybe in the past, someone here wasn't willing to be um, flexible or this is someone here who could have been stuck in their ways. They didn't want to change. I don't know. Now this person could be trying to manifest you back into their life.
Someone here could be having legal issues. Or you're about to get some sort of justice here. You're about to get some sort of achievement here. Maybe through a court situation. You're definitely a healer, whoever you are. Someone's real angry about this. Someone here has a lot of animosity when it comes to this situation. And after that, we have false. And then we have soulmate. There's a very, there's a very heavy soulmate energy. I feel like whoever this boss daddy is, they're connected to a karmic feminine. And they're now realizing that someone is a karmic feminine. Maybe someone, this boss daddy is now in their head because they were convinced that you were this karmic feminine with an entity attachment, but it's really this karmic fen who karmic femme that has some sort of entity attachment to them. This is a divine masculine that could be partnered up with a with a karmic feminine, and they're getting karma because they made the wrong choice when it comes to love and romance. This person could be feeling stuck and in bondage with this individual. Maybe they're soul tied. They're soul tied with an op. Okay, that's also a thief. This could be an energy thief or whatever or someone is feeling like they were stolen from you or you were stolen from them or something what I chose this karmic femme over you is maybe felt like this karmic femme was more exciting at the time And they're now, now they're not happy though. They're not happy with this person. Maybe this person unknowingly put you in a third party. This is for somebody out here. I don't know who this is for. Martyr. Past life. Someone here is with a pot. Someone's in a relationship with a karmic past life enemy. <laughs> that has an entity attachment on them. This person could be, this karmic femme could only be with this person because they have stability or something like that. Or they're only with them because they, they need a place to stay. Somebody feels like um, they're willing to do anything in order to get you to unblock them is the vibe. This person could be a Taurus, don't have to be. Someone is definitely learning some sort of spiritual lesson when it comes to this because you're not giving them access to you. They already made their choice. Someone here could be born in 1999. Someone chose a, a whole community over you or something like that or they chose what a whole community's um, opinion of you was over what their own feelings were someone feels like they sacrificed their own love for you for the approval and acceptance of a community why do you have a uh, drama starter what i really meant to say said i'm sorry for the way this person could be drinking a lot feeling sorry for themselves for the choices that they made they're drinking or or whatever substance they're using or you know they could be having a lot of sex at this time or whatever it is um they could be doing this because they're trying to escape the the wrong choice they made or something or the the regret or the sadness or whatever this is or the fact that you have been blocked or the fact that they know they don't have access to you anymore let me start our commitment Somebody's sad. We have rich guy at the bottom of the deck. Maybe somebody's sad because they, they feel like you're gonna be in a commitment with somebody here. We have destruction. Someone Someone's obsessed with your ascension, your growth. Your glow up. I don't know. Someone's obsessed, though. Rich guy. This could be... um 
Capricorn, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Leo. It could be a Gemini, don't have to be. Someone's trying to travel towards you. This could be your twin flame. Or somebody knows that your twin flame is coming towards you. Twin flame, travel. Oh my god. Someone still needs to heal. We have inner child. I'm also getting like, you could have been, something is going to heal your inner child. Not the same energy again. So there's a past life enemy here of yours or this person, this boss daddy or whatever, that's trying to use energy manipulation to mess up your body or to mess up the way you view your body or something or your value. I don't know. Someone's trying to trigger your inner child wounds or trying to use some sort of um, hurt that they know that you have in order to destroy you from the, the inside. I don't know. In order to stop some sort of twin flame reunion. I don't know. This this story is getting old. Why do we have fake smiles? Someone lazy. I don't know. Somebody lazy or somebody... Someone jealous. So whoever this person is, they're jealous. Maybe somebody thinks that you don't have to do nothing. I don't know what this is. This is someone here who's in competition. So someone feels like you don't you don't have to put in a lot of effort to get a lot of to get a lot back or something. Maybe you're someone here who's in a very magnetic energy and you're attracting a lot right now and something seems effortless to this person. How how something's going about in your life when it comes because you're too busy winning. So you could be winning and someone feels like you're you're not Whoever this person who's in competition with you, they feel like you're not putting in as much work as they're putting in, but yet you're getting a lot with less effort. I don't know. Somebody jealous of you, whoever this is, whoever is in competition with you. There, someone here could be in competition for your twin flame to have or be with your twin flame or just to get you to not have a twin flame at all. I don't know, but... Someone's in regret for counting you out, sleeping on you, misjudging you, or whatever. They could be drinking a lot, or, or smoking a lot, or they're doing something a lot. Who's in this competition? What's this competition about? This could be someone here who's a vegetarian, they don't eat no meat. Who's this person in competition? Who's in competition with them, spirit? This could be someone who's an Aquarius, okay? This person could be a Taurus who's in competition. Tell me more. Who's in this competition energy? This person could have brown eyes. Who's this person in competition, spirit? This person could be a baby boomer. They could be born before the 1970s. Who's in competition? I keep hearing Barbara. We have Virgo. Someone here could be a Virgo who's in competition with you. Someone here could be a gym rat. They always at the gym or they could have a very athletic body. This person could have a beard. This person could have blue eyes. Who's in the competition? This person could have an accent. Says I speak a little differently. And then we have parental. This could be a parent of yours, or this could be someone you co-parent with. Someone's baby mama, baby daddy. I don't know. Someone here definitely could be an 80s baby. These could be your traits or someone else's traits who's in competition with you or them. Flip it where it needs to go. Okay. Why are they in competition is my question. Why are they in competition, Spirit? Because you're getting some sort of offer. 
and they're trying to sabotage it they're trying to steal it or deceive you but the most high is seeing everything Ooh. and you're going to get something here the light is shining down from the heavens on you whoever i'm speaking to you're getting some sort of victory you will get some sort of success here you will get some sort of accomplishment here some sort of reward for your hard work for your dedication you deserve whatever this is you put in the work and you got people who is jealous maybe they don't feel like you put in the work maybe they, they feel like you don't deserve something someone's trying to stop some sort of offer from coming in or stop you from receiving something here yeah it's some sort of offer maybe someone's going to try to do this by coming with a smaller offer before you get the actual offer in order for you to take with to settle for less basically someone's trying to get you to someone's trying to trick you to settle for less what's up with the jealousy someone's jealous about some sort of social media situation maybe someone feels like you don't work hard or your job is not really a job especially if you're like an a, an influencer sir an influencer or something like that we have the two of pentacles someone's trying to get you to um juggle something here somebody wants you to be indecisive about something that something about social media or something that you see on social media someone here is going to try to do something sneaky we have the queen of wands you could be this um queen of wands energy you could be someone who's very attractive okay man or woman you could be in this queen of wands energy you could be a go-getter you could be an entrepreneur so this is what i'm getting someone here wants you to stop posting on social media if that's who you are if that's something that you do someone wants you to stop doing that because every time you're on social media you look good and somebody's mad about it because someone else is looking at you looking good and they're upset about it okay someone wants you to be lazy somebody just wants you to sit on the couch all day maybe somebody wants you to be in the blues i don't know what this is but if this is something that you feel like you're being affected by, you need to swish it up. You need to start exercising. You need to start getting up uh, when that feeling starts setting in, especially if you have ADHD. Okay. And you start getting those, you start getting in those modes of like feeling like you're, you, you don't want to do anything and you're frozen, just sitting in one place. You need to start taking certain supplements to help you with that. Okay. You need to start implementing. I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice you might need to look into taking lion's mane or you need to start looking into taking certain types of mushrooms okay um you could look into taking alpha what's it called alpha gp something i forget what it's called but that's something that could help with adhd and focus um you could benefit from taking uh, i forget what it's called but it's good for energy production i'm gonna put i'm gonna link these things these supplements down below to help you i feel like somebody needs to hear this okay um also pray of course and continue to cleanse yourself and your space because someone here really is trying to put you in a pickle they want you to feel stuck because the eight of swords is all about being mentally stuck in your own head somebody wants you to be mentally stuck in your own head somebody wants you to be overthinking and stressing out over something that's imaginary because the lady who's in the eight of swords they can get themselves out of this bind somebody just wants you to feel like you can't someone's jealous please love yourself we have a uh, emotional manipulator this is someone here who's an emotional manipulator here who's trying to cock block a situation this is a cyber bully you guys got a cyber bully on your hands, okay? They're, they could be leaving nasty um, comments. They could be trying to criticize you. Um, this part, uh, I don't know. Someone's trying to dominate you or something because this domination card keeps popping out at me. Someone's trying to wrestle you down to the ground or something. I don't know. Someone's trying to put you in a, in a chokehold. They don't like that you went in. Ooh, this is what fell on the floor. Perfection. Someone thinks that you're perfect or something. Or somebody wants you to be in this Eight of Swords energy when it comes to perfection. 
So someone here could be trying to send you some sort of negative energy to make you feel like you have to be perfect or you're not perfect enough to do something or to put yourself out there um, or to post something, okay? It's all lies. The devil's a lie, okay? Someone wants you to be frozen with perfectionism. Somebody is trying to send you the energy of making you feel like you're not good enough with this cyber bully so that you won't post or you'll be afraid of posting. I don't know what this person, I don't know what, I don't know why. This person is assuming that you're a weak bitch. This is what this person's assuming. They're, they're, they're thinking that whatever they're doing, whatever tactics they're using, they're doing whatever they think would stop them from posting because they're, 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 um, using tactics from the point of view of a weak bitch. And I feel like whoever you are, you're not a weak bitch. I, I don't, I, someone's underestimating your, your, your level of perseverance and resilience is the vibe it's giving. Um, maybe this person doesn't realize that you, you have had a lot of verbal abuse in your life and the internet is, is just a baby size <laughs> of the type of shit that you had to endure. I feel like, um, they're going to try. But uh, they're not going to be successful, whoever this person is. I feel like this person is getting frustrated by it as well. Um, they could be getting frustrated by this. Because whatever they're doing, it's not stopping you. They're, they, I don't know. This could be the sisterhood. It could be a whole sisterhood, a, a group of feminine energies. It doesn't have to be just women, okay? It could be like feminine men, a group of feminine men or a mixture of feminine men and women in some sort of like brotherhood, sisterhood situation that are all teaming up together to do this to you. They're not happy for whatever you have going on. They're trying to make you suffer or something, or they want to see you suffer. And it's all because of some sort of twin flame situation, okay? It's all because you're going to be offer, getting offered something, whether this is a job position, an, an opportunity. Um, a job offer, I don't know, love, whatever the fuck it is. Somebody here is just mad about it. You need to use your intuition when it comes to this. Someone don't understand you. Someone doesn't understand. Someone doesn't understand you. And and that's another thing too. I feel like whoever this whatever this group is, they keep trying to dig up dirt on you or they keep trying to figure out like what makes you tick or um someone's trying to analyze you, psychoanalyze you or something like this or someone's trying to figure you out. I don't know. Um they're watching very closely on the things that you say and the things that you don't say. Um, don't let that stop you from being yourself unapologetically. That's, that, that would be my best advice. Um, because you're covered by the most high. The divine is watching over this whole situation. These are individuals that know their ship is, is sinking and they just, they want to find a way to bring it, bring you down with their sinking, their sinking ship. Something is shrinking. Something slowing down for someone. That's another reason why they upset. Why do we have cyber bully? Who is this cyber bully who's trying to dominate Virgo? This could be a Virgo or someone who's definitely at work. Or someone here is trying to negatively affect your health, your mental health, your physical health, your body, your weight, your beauty. Someone here is trying to do a lot of things to you. Whoever this cyber bully is, you could be a Virgo and someone's trying to do this to you. Flip it where it needs to go. I'm not your mother. I'm not your father. This is someone here who could be someone who has blue eyes. You could be someone who has blue eyes. Tell me more. Who's this cyber bully? This person could be a Scorpio. This could be someone who's hypersexual, who's trying to cyber bully you. Or this is someone here who's leaving a lot of sexual comments. Tell me more. Who's this cyber bully? This is someone who's sexual. Maybe this is someone you had a sexual connection with at one point and they're mad because you no longer want to entertain that. I also feel like this could just be someone who's an incubus or a succubus that got rejected and they're taking something out on you, okay? Tell me more who's a cyber bully. 
This could be someone who's musically inclined. This could be you or someone else. Who's the cyber bully? This could be someone who's born in the 1970s. They could be a 70s baby. This could be you or them. This person could be very anxious and very worried. Because their cyberbullying shit ain't working. Or maybe they were cyberbullying you and now they're getting cyberbullied. It could be that. What goes around comes around. This person could have curly hair. This is my hair's wavy. This could be you or them. Tell me more. This person could be a cappy. This person could be Capricorn. Who's cyberbullying you or you're a Capricorn and this is something that's happening to you. We have Gen Zer. Someone here could be born in the 2000s who's cyberbullying you. Okay. Or you're born in the 2000s. We have long hair. Someone here could have long hair. Don't care. This could be you or them. And then we have braids or dreads. This could be you or them who's cyberbullying you. Or this is like the description of all the people involved in whatever this sisterhood, brotherhood thing is. <clears throat> they're plotting to harm you or plotting to get you to fail at something you're not going to just so you know okay these are all just to give you warnings to be prepared not to be scared okay and to give you confirmation that you're not going crazy and yes that whatever you're experiencing yes it's someone's doing something purposefully okay Now that you know what their tactic is, do the exact opposite of what they're trying to do. They're trying to make you lazy, be more productive. Force yourself to be productive. If they're trying to make you sad, watch things that make you happy. Watch things that make you laugh. That's what I would do. Okay? Or go outside. Go do something that makes you happy. Go paint. Go knit. Go make some jewelry. Go sing. Go dance. Put on some bomb-ass music and have a little dance party to yourself. There's a bunch of things that you can do, you know? I also feel like something about clutter. Someone here needs to declutter their home. This could be you or someone else. Maybe that will help, like, the feng shui of your home. Maybe you have your bed placed somewhere where there's too much energy flowing in your direction where your bed is placed in your room you might need to switch that up okay if you don't know now you know no i'm just joking if you don't know how to put your bed in the right direction go google or look on youtube feng shui bedroom or something go type that in and go go learn baby learn I'm also getting this group that could be cyberbullying you or whoever is the leader of this group who's cyberbullying you or getting other people to do this with them. This person, they get high off of doing this to you. It's like a drug. They're addicted to creating drama in your life, to attacking you. It's like someone gets a thrill, even if it doesn't work or they don't get the... the, the results that they really want it's like it's still a thrill to them or something because they it's a thrill because i think this person likes that you don't know that it's them but i feel like whoever you are you know who the fuck they are i feel like because you're not saying it <laughs> i think it's because you're not saying it and i really feel like it's good that you don't say anything don't say anything don't let them know Why would you let your enemy know that you know? That's not smart. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? It says, Advent Calendar. Some of you could have purchased one of these recently. We have Anticipation Preparation Countdown. Something is being, something is about to finish or wrap up. It's the final countdown. Da -da -dun -dun. Da -da -dun -dun -dun. Something's the final countdown. Or someone's counting the days or something. Or someone is, someone knows that something will be happening. This could be like a court date. Somebody knows that there's something happening on a certain day and they're trying their best to like cock block whatever this day, event, fate is supposed to be for someone. Okay, 
or someone's marked their calendar when it comes to something what's the bottom of the deck ignored an offer an opportunity or something new somebody knows an offer or an opportunity or something new is coming into the, your life there they have this level of anticipation they know it's coming in i also feel like for some of you you could be feeling this anticipation energy too you could feel like something new is coming in as well um tell me more We have air signs. Something here about an air sign is of significance in Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. This could be your signs or someone else's signs. But something here about an air sign. Something here about a level of communication. Something about someone really being in their head at this time. We have love drummer boy. Not love. It says little drummer boy. We have gifts, talent, presentation. Somebody wants to present something to you. Why did I say love? Maybe somebody loves playing the drums or somebody's in love with a drummer. I don't know. Tell me more, Spirit. What's happening? Christmas in jail. <laughs> Law enforcement. Physical or mental prison confinement. Someone's in spiritual jail or they're about to be. By the time Christmas hits, they will be in a mental prison or they will be in physical jail. Or they will be restricted in some way where they can't get out of a situation. Locked in a contract. I don't know. This is um, Christmas Pickle. Some of the, I love these. I love these cards, by the way, Tara. Okay, listen. Go check her out. Check out her Etsy. I'll leave a link somewhere below. Um, but it says Christmas Pickle Dilemma difficulty problem someone here is about to be in some sort of christmas problem this could be an air sign you could be an air sign and someone's trying to put you in a christmas dilemma or some sort of problem um let's figure out what this is about shall we we shall the drummer kid the drummer kid now do, 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 do. the drummer kid the drummer kid now what's that song um yeah someone's stalking you they're watching you they're trying to a lot of gemini energy someone's definitely stalking you here this could be someone who's a soulmate here someone you have a karmic connection a karmic soulmate for some of y'all this could be a karmic family member or um friend or ex-lover or someone let me see they're spying on you because they know they know there's a countdown. They know something is happening here soon. They know something new is coming in for you. They know, they know, they know. Something about communication. Someone's waiting for the green light. Someone's waiting for to hear the word go. Let the Drummer Kick by Citizen Cope. Is that what it's called? Let the Drummer Kick. Let the Drummer Kick that. It, is that what this is? Let me make sure this is the song. Sorry, I'm watching a Christmas commercial from Bath and Body Works. The perfume is called Perfection something. Anyway. Yeah, this is it. Someone here could have long hair. Let me see what this is. Relations, creations, incarnation, determination, equation, humiliation, reincarnation, situation, elation, identification, retaliation, education, inspiration, no substitution, solution, co conclusion. Apollo had to break them, a gift, a blessing. What keeps you down? What gets you out? When they say you could make it, what 
you feel when they say it. N-A-V, why we've got to sing. Let the drummer kick so many in need. Gives you the right to shoot, what would it do? Gives you the right to choose, is that, is what pulls you through, no substitute. You've got to burst through for the chosen few. When they say that they died for you, it can take a hold of you, is what pulls you through, inspiration. You're inspiring someone or you might get inspired to do something. I don't know what this has to do with nothing. I don't know, figure it out. Y'all need to figure it out, okay? Because most of the time when I'm channeling, I don't know what the hell. Why do we have air sign? This is definitely an air sign. This We have the queen of swords here. Maybe somebody knows that you're, I don't know. Don't, what's up? There, there's an air sign that wants to come in and emotionally manipulate someone. This could be a, an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Because something's over. Or because of a death. Someone wants to come in and emotionally manipulate you to do something here. So that they don't go into Christmas jail. Why do we have Christmas in jail? Nine of Pentacles. This could be a Virgo. That might be end up getting in trouble with law enforcement or in mental prison or in confinement or you got somebody here who's trying to lure you somewhere with by emotional manipulation to get you locked up somewhere in order for you to be in a christmas pickle yeah somebody wants to see you hurt they want to see you sad they want to see you in grief because they want to be able to hold back something from you they want to be able to take something from you that's the truth listen y'all be careful of people right now from your past because they're trying to get you locked up that's the vibe it's giving and they're trying to get you stuck somewhere that's the truth someone here is trying to get you to reunite with them in order to get you in some sort of problem that would be good news for this group of people to get you in a christmas pickle or there's a group of people who in a sisterhood or a brotherhood or in some form of group that is definitely excited to put you in a Christmas pickle into some sort of problem or dilemma here soon. They're, they're, that's why they keep watching you. Someone wants to rush in with this Knight of Swords as well. They want to come in and act like they no longer want to argue about something and they want to make peace, but it's all sideways. They really want to come in and, and cause you pain with the Three of Swords. Or someone here is now in pain because of something here. Somebody's trying to get somebody in legal issues. Or someone's trying to get out of legal issues with the Two of Swords and the legal issues coming out together. Somebody knows they're about to meet... Um, the end of something because of something they were involved in someone's obsessed someone in, someone was obsessed with investing in doing something to you putting you in a in a pit in a difficult situation there's a whole people there's a group of people that collaborated together all because of money look at all those pentacles obsessed or someone's obsessed with money ten of pentacles there's a whole lot of money here that's why someone's trying to put you in a pickle. So be mindful, okay? Someone's trying to create drama. Maybe somebody's father knows about this or somebody's father. Um, this could be a family situation. It don't have to be, though. Best friend, companion, bonding. Be careful with some sort of best friend. It says proficiency, mastery. Okay, magic. Someone's trying to get you to... Think of them as someone who's friendly, but they're really behind bullying you or something like that, or trying to, or someone's trying to get you into legal troubles. That's what's happening this lovely Christmas for some of y'all. And it's because of money. They need to put you in a, in a situation where you're down or you're stuck so they can come up. We have karmic cycle. A karmic cycle is ending. Or this is people that you had a karmic cycle with and it's now that cycle is now ending and someone is trying to like someone here could be trying to destiny swap or they're trying to 
transfer your karma or their karma onto you by trying to put you in a pickle or trying to say something was your fault so you could take their karma or or you can take the fall for something i don't know i gotta go i'll be back okay i'm back someone's mad because um something's gonna be long lasting for you or they or they're trying to create something that's supposed to be or meant to be long lasting for you they're trying to cut that thing short it could be your life it could be your stability it could be um, your good standing or reputation they're trying to cut short. I don't know. They're trying to do some. Somebody wants to cause you pain. Hurt people, hurt people. This is a whole community of people who are involved in this. It's not just one person. It's a group. <clears throat> says you make me feel small. Someone wants to say that you make them feel small. Whoever this person, this karmic individual that didn't learn their lesson. They didn't learn their karmic lesson. We have 777, a symbol, a symbol of intelligence. It says, angels announcing that your dreams are coming true. All of your hopes and dreams will come to life in the most magnificent way. And someone knows this and they're very much jealous of you. Someone's jealous because your dreams are coming true in the most magnificent way. That's why, okay? We have welfare check scam. So someone here could have used your identity and they could have used your social security number, whatever, and could have been used, getting government benefits off of your name in order for you to look like um, you're scamming the government or something. I don't know. Tell me more. What else is going on? We have someone you blocked will try to bump into you. So <clears throat> they're definitely going to try to make their way back into your life. Some sort of ceremony this whole group may have done against you in order to hinder you, block you, stop you from whatever this is. It's backfiring. We have fake laugh. Someone here has fake laugh and someone here has a fake ass smile. It says paid someone to watch you. So someone definitely paid someone to watch you. Or to follow you or to figure out information. It says love your enemies, forgive them. Pray for them. For they do not know what they are doing. This is a scripture mashup. Okay? Listen. Do not, don't harbor hate in, in your heart. I know it's easier said than done. Okay? I know it's easier said than done. Listen. I have, I, I struggle with anger. Okay? I understand. It's, it's. It's all in how you respond. It's all in how you perceive something, okay? Anger is not a bad emotion for you to feel. It's normal, it is natural, but to allow it to linger and to take over you is not good. Just like the emotion and feeling of jealousy, it's natural, it's normal, but to have it linger and take over you is not okay, okay? It's not okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? Someone paid someone to watch you. Who paid someone to watch them? This could have been someone here who wears glasses. This could be somebody here who's a tomboy. They could be a lesbian. They could be gay. They could be bisexual. Um, something about this person's, how they express themselves is either very masculine or very feminine. Pay someone to watch you. This could be someone who got brown eyes who was paid to watch you. <clears throat> who was paid to watch them, Spirit? This could have been a Libra who was paid to watch you. Who was paid to watch them, Spirit? This could be someone who got curly hair or wavy hair that was paid to watch you. This person could have long hair who was paid to watch you. Who was paid to watch them? This could be someone who's short and petite who was paid to watch you. This could be someone who got full lips who was paid to watch them. A Taurus was paid to watch you. Someone who's a cook could have been paid to watch you. Or this could have been a kitchen witch who was paid to watch you. We have mental health. Someone here could have been paid to watch you who a little crazy. Or someone who was paid to watch you could have been someone who was trying to um, give this person updates of your mental health status to see if like you've lost your freaking mind or not. We have beard. 
This person could have a beard who was paid to watch you. Flip it where you need to go. So, uh, someone was definitely... Um, someone was paid to watch an empress. Or this was like an empress in reverse that paid to watch you. Okay. That's another thing that I'm getting. This could have been ba someone's baby mama. Someone's aunt or sister. Let me use these. 313 could be significant. We have stole your tampons or pads to perform black magic. So someone here could have done this in order to block your manifestations. It's not going to work. Yeah, spirit has your back. You are loved. The divine has you covered. The divine is not going to allow somebody here to mess up something for you. You're getting blessed because you learned the, the much needed lesson that was to be learned. When it comes to this karmic cycle, you have already been through. And it's already wrapping up. Spirit got your back. Someone could be calling, texting, or emailing you using fake accounts or pro profiles in order to vamp off energy from you. Someone's just emailing you, emailing you just to get a response. We have ancestors are proud of you. Don't you ever forget it. Your ancestors are proud of you, baby. Okay. Something here about your sister is of significance. Someone's sister could be in a Christmas pickle. Tell me more. Your sister could have stole tampons or pads to perform black magic on you. We have 1244 could be of significance. The divine wants you to see yourself in a higher light. Okay. There's a, there's a need for you to continue to um, stay balanced, grounded, and focused. And um, feeling safe in the knowledge that your angels... And your spirit guides are protecting you at this time. We have throw out the trash. Okay, so something here about throwing out the trash could be of significance. Tell me more. We have arguments. So there's a lot of arguments that could be taking place at this time. We have false marriage document could be of significance. You're being asked to stay to yourself at this time. So someone here could have done something with some sort of false documents. And they're going to be getting caught up with uh, when it comes to these false fraudulent documents. And they don't want to go to jail. So they're going to try to get you to go to jail. Or they're trying to take you out in some way. We have hitman hired. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Someone's hoping that you're gullible as fuck. We have hiring a lawyer. Some of you may need to hire a lawyer when it comes to somebody here trying to argue with you. We have police are investigating you. So the police could have been investigating you due to some sort of false marriage document. We have indoctrination of children. Or someone here could have claimed that they were married to you. And that's why they were, um, they showed, they could have showed like a private investigator or the police a piece of paper that says that you guys were married. And that's why the police or a private investigator went to investigate you. Okay, this person, this, maybe this police or this investigator is now realizing that you guys aren't actually married to this person. And this person's like a, this person could be a stalker, like someone you don't even know. This could have been the person that was paid to watch you, who went to a private investigator to get someone else to watch you. I don't know. Who knows? But we have indoctrination of children. Someone here could have definitely had children involved in this situation. They could have manipulated a child. We have Aries. Someone here could be an Aries that needs to hire a lawyer. Okay. Or there's an Aries that wants to come towards you and argue with you. Or there's an Aries in competition with you that's jealous of you. This Aries could have a fake ass laugh. You could be an Aries and all this other stuff is happening to you. We have cold person. Someone here never meant to be so cold. <laughs> never meant to be so cold to you. <laughs> I'm sorry for all the lies. Maybe in a different light. See the way. Okay, let me stop. We have um something about a shish tape could be significant. We have Grand Theft Auto. Someone here could be trying to steal something here from you, or they did. We have, or they're just trying to get away with some. We have, that's why they're going to try to bump into you. We have Bum. This is someone here who has no job, no motivation. They have a loser, lack mindset, okay? Who's an Aries, who's jealous of you, or they have Aries somewhere in their chart. Don't have to be. Or this is someone here who thinks that they're, they're a boss, or this is just someone here who's overly controlling. 
who wanted to dominate you or control you or control your life, but yet they don't have a fucking job. They don't have motivation or any ambition. They're a loser or they have a lack mindset. I, I don't know. Boss manager is jealous of you or someone who wants to be a boss or a manager. They're jealous of you. This could have been the person that put you in a false marriage. We have 3 a.m. could be of significance. Something here someone could be trying to do at 3 a.m. Maybe they're trying to do dark magic on you at 3 a.m. to try to block your manifestations or your blessings. We have rabbit. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the rabbit. For sure. This could be you or the person who's um, a loser. We have bad health. Someone here could have bad health or someone's trying to get you to have a mental health issue or someone was saying you have mental health issues. That's why they were able to take something from you or they were trying to take something from you. Something about your sister. Your sister could be in bad health or your sister could be having a mental illness or something's backfiring on someone on your sister confirmation we have listen with your heart you will understand let it break upon you like a wave upon the sand grandmother willow pocahontas could be of significance someone might need to do a spiritual fast at this time okay do whatever you're led to do please do it responsibly and safely i'm not a medical professional um what's going on What I really meant to say is that I'm sorry for the way something's going on with someone's kidneys. <clears throat> something's going on with someone's kidneys. What's going on with the sister is my question. The sister's gonna get they don't want to get in trouble for aiding and abetting a, a criminal. Or someone that stole something. <clears throat> also gonna be someone's aunt who was a who aid who aided and abetted someone we have spiritual support you have spiritual support someone your sister wants to come in and string you along the this sister is selfish they're trying to do something for their own gain maybe this sister wants to come near you and be on your side because they want spiritual protection because they know you have spiritual support and they know they're going to be put into some sort of situation here with legal troubles and they don't want to be. They want to be protected in some way. Or they're hoping that you won't press charges or you won't something. Why do we have police investigating? Someone's no longer holding a grudge or... Or someone is now, whoever was investigating you, they're realizing that someone only did this in order, only because they were holding a grudge against you or something like that. Something was personal. Someone was trying to stop some sort of opportunities that await you. Or they were trying to cock block a situation. A adding and abetting. Someone's in scarce mentality. Someone's scared about something. They know they fucked. Somebody knows they're fucked. Someone knows they're fucked. That's what it's giving. Someone knows they done fucked up. They know they in trouble. Scarce mentality. Somebody's, they know they in trouble because you love yourself. They're trying their best to get you to not be independent or trying to look like, trying to get you to look like you're not independent. This is causing a lot of fights and conflict because you love yourself, you're self-concerned, you're self-healing, you're independent. This is what's causing problems. somebody mad because you love yourself this is what this this is all this is you love yourself someone's furious they're offended they're angry conflict because you love yourself and you're independent that's what this is maybe someone was trying to do blood magic on you in order for you to lose um, your independence and to get you to not love yourself or something like that or not take care of yourself or not take care of I don't know things Yeah, someone here was trying to get you to not love your body or not love the skin you're in or something like that. Maybe someone's going to come in and confess. 
Oh, they're upside down. Ace of Cups in reverse, though. Somebody not fucking happy. Or there's some there's there's a situation where someone could be breaking up with another person and that's justice. Are you not showing this person any sort of love or something like that is justice because of what they've done to you in the past or what they did to you in the dark or in the or in the background? It's justice. There could be a Libra who's falling out of love with somebody else, okay? Something here could be getting exposed about an empress or an empress deserves some sort of success in love, okay, and a new beginning and someone's mad about this. Maybe they were trying to block this or they were trying to block some sort of love offer or something like that. Or they did in the past and now it's coming back around. Someone's losing something. We got the Ace of Wands in reverse. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Someone's mad because they're not going to have some sort of new love come through. They're not going to have some sort of passionate new beginning with another person. And someone else is, you're getting this Ten of Pentacles. Or this is a whole community of people who are losing out on something and you're getting something else. It's justice for you. They could be heartbroken. Or they were excited or celebrating or it was good news to them when they found out that you were in some sort of pain or some sort of stuff or they or that you were suffering or something. Or these are people that were got joy out of your downfalls. They got joy out of betraying you, causing you pain. And you're healing from it now. Maybe that's how these people were able to get energy and to get blessings was off your pain, your grief, your sadness. You're no longer in that energy. So they're going to be losing something. The scales have to be balanced. You could be in this Empress energy. What I really meant to say <laughs> is that I'm sorry for the way I am. I never meant to be so cold. Yes, they did. I never meant to be so cold to you. I'm sorry for all the lies. Someone lied a lot. They lied a lot. And she took the gets me by. The gets me high. Your energy is what's get that you give them an antidote. I don't know what is going on antidote you know like when a um like when a spider bites you or when like a snake bites you you have to get that antidote i don't know somebody's losing their fucking mind what's going on with these haters Please and thank you. We have scorned love. Someone feels scorned by you. It says an old fleeing or current recent ex-partner feels deep pain of rejection and betrayal. So someone's mad because you decided to reject somebody. Or someone else decided to reject them because of you or because you inspired them. The drummer kick. The drummer kick now. I don't know. We have energy vampire. It says excessively demanding your attention and your emotional support. This is an energy vampire who scorned and you're their drug. You're their addiction. They're mad because you, they feel like you're being selfish with your energy. Um, we have pyrite. It says help shield you from the harmful effects that technology can have on the mind and the body. You guys could benefit from wearing pyrite or meditating with pyrite okay i feel like i think i i think i do i think i have one more necklace one more pyrite necklace on my website if you guys are interested one more. it says you will witness their karma so whoever you are you're gonna witness this person's karma for show okay whoever this scorned person is whether this is your scor scorned ex-lover or it doesn't even have to be an ex-lover. This is just somebody here who feels like um, you betrayed them in some way by choosing you. <laughs> by loving you. By you making the right choice. By you listening to your own divine um, inner wisdom. Okay, probably a karmic. 
karmic family member, friend, ex-boss, co-worker, whatever. This person, you will see their karma. Because this is someone here who retaliated against you. Because you chose better for yourself. You could be someone who's an overgiver. And someone, this person was so used to you giving to them and overgiving to them that um, they grew accustomed to that. To the point where they got addicted to you always giving and, and, and expecting it. And now that you, pull it, you pulled it away, it's like they're losing their shit. We have your significant other is sending you negativity, okay? So this could be your significant other or someone else's significant other. This is someone who is an energy vampire. We have their recruiting haters. I also feel like this could be a scorned lover of yours that is that moved on to another person. And that other person that they're with is also an energy vampire or someone who just vibrates low. This individual knows that this scorned lover of yours is still hooked on you. They could have caught this person watching you on social media or something. This person knows. This person's significant other knows. Anyways, the recruiting haters. We have spreading rumors about you. That's what they're doing. That's what this scorn lover is doing. They're about to get karma. You're about to witness the karma. Okay? With, with all these rumors that we're spreading, okay? Stealing your ideas, pretending they invented them. So someone's going around stealing your ideas, pretending they invented them, blah, 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 blah. Claiming credit over your success, blase, blase. This person's disgusting. You can't, cre you can't, if you're someone who receives messages from the divine, okay? And you or someone who works with energy and blah, blah, blah. This is someone here who's literally slapping God in the face, and trying to take credit. I feel like because for whoever you are, you don't even take full credit for the success you have because you would not be here without God's assistance. So I don't, like this person is trying to take all the glory from God. This person's a demon. That's what it's giving me. Some of you need to take a spiritual bath. Or if you take a spiritual bath or something like that, you will witness this person's karma. Because whatever they're trying to send you is going to be sent back immediately. We have your closest friends hold grudges against you. So you have friends here who were holding grudges against you. They were stealing your ideas for saying that they invented them or whatever. We have seek someone to perform or learn a, cut, a cord cutting ritual. So someone, whoever this person is, who's recruiting haters and claiming credit over your success is trying to keep themselves tied to you. Cut that shit. It says the person causing you negativity is a fire sign. So there's a fire sign who's trying to suck energy from you. Okay. They could be working with a whole group to do so. Or you're a fire sign and someone's doing this to you. Flip it where it needs to go. Someone here is definitely trying to create some sort of unexplained freak accident for you during this mercury retrograde or maybe you might witness this person go through some sort of freak accident because they're trying to get you to have one people are sick unfortunately this is the world we live in people do they think this way if you're somebody for some of you this may not even be happening to you and and you should pray and be grateful for everything that you have, okay? Because some people just... Some people just do too much. What are these rumors that they're spreading? What is this even about? What are the rumors they're spreading? Duh, a lot, I guess. It's legal issues... They're spreading rumors about how you're stable, how you make your money. They, it's because you don't tell everybody your information, the four of pentacles. You hold something close to your chest. You keep your life private. So they feel like you are living a double life and that's how you are able to um, financially support yourself. Maybe that's why they got you to be investigated to see what you, how you make your money or something like that. Someone here could have been saying you were lying. Maybe someone was trying to say you were a prostitute. I don't know. Or you sell jerugs. 
but someone's gonna be in regret for doing this we got the five of cups or someone was trying to spread rumors and lies about you that were about that in order to get you to be sad to be depressed to be down in the dumps what's this motherfucker's karma question can we figure out what this weirdo's karma is please and thank you actually let's figure out the person that you need to cut cords with I feel like once this person or group of people get their karma and you witness it, they're going to start, they're going to be like, I'm so sorry for being cold. I'm sorry for all the lies. Ciao, please. Okay, so who is this person they need to cut cords from, spirit? This could be someone who has the Chinese zodiac sign of the goat that needs to cut cords from this, with this person, or you're someone who has the Chinese zodiac sign of the goat. This could be someone who has the Chinese zodiac sign of the monkey that you need to cut cords with, or that's your Chinese zodiac sign. There could be an Aquarius here that you need to cut cords with, okay? Or you're an Aquarius and you need to cut cords with somebody out here. It says it's coming in to offer resources and stability. So whoever this person is that you need to cut cords from, it's somebody here who wants to come in and act like they want to support you financially and some way or maybe they're going to try to ask you for money i don't know we have coming in as a partner or a companion so this is definitely somebody here that you were in a relationship with at one point and you could have even considered them a soulmate this could have been a karmic soulmate that you need to cut cords from and then we got a twin flame at the bottom of the deck maybe you need to cut cords from this karmic individual this karmic soulmate so that your twin flame can come in because this connection this energetic cord that you have between you and this karmic individual we have you guys could be seeing one, two, three. Um, sorry. The cord is what's keeping something blocked or something like that. Keeping this cord here. What's these people's karma? Because I'm tired. always writing something down on it with a fancy pen someone has a fancy pen someone could be Russian this could be you or someone else Person karma. Sorry, I kept I kept seeing Pepe Le Pew, the cartoon character. I think that's his name, where he's like always um trying to like <laughs> force himself on another. Holy Spirit, holy angels, what's going on? Someone's suffocating. What's this person's karma? What's this people's karma? Because I'm tired. Someone's karma is that they're going to be in a third party connection. They're going to be made an option when it comes to love or whatever else. It says watching you prosper in love. This is going to be this person's karma. Maybe this is someone who put you in a third party connection. And now their karma is that they're going to be put in one. We have Grim Reaper following them around for an opportunity. So the Grim, the Grim Reaper is definitely following this, these individuals here. They feel it. They know it. Maybe that's why the death card kept coming out. These individuals know something is somewhat they they're gonna have to prepare for another funeral. Someone's next. Someone's next on the chopping block. They're anticipating it. They know it. We have losing money, revenue, income. This is something here that might be going down with these individuals. Maybe this is what they were wishing for you or they paid someone to have this happen to you and it did not happen. Someone here is about to get arrested and or booked. Okay, that's their karma. They know it. We have danger to themselves and others around them. Someone here might get 5150'd, okay? That's, maybe that's what they were trying to get you to get. 
to happen to you. We have people turning against them. There's going to be people turning against these individuals. This is part of their karma. And then we have sudden onset decreasing mental health. What was I saying? Someone here is going to lose their gosh diggity dang mind if they aren't already. This is the energy they were trying to send your ass. This is what they were trying to send you. They could have put this, they could have put something in your food at one point in the past in order for your mental health to decline. That could have backfired, child. You're covered. Says watching you prosper with money is going to be their karma because they were definitely doing a lot of money magic on you. We have sudden onset of an illness. Someone here was definitely trying to mess with your health. Someone here might be getting sick. We have being charged with a crime or an offense they did not commit. So someone here could have falsely accused you or tried to falsely accuse you of something to be committed of a crime you did not commit. And something here is going to happen to them. I also am getting... This could also describe conspiracy to commit a crime. So there could be evidence being found on these individuals or this group of individuals or one individual that was conspiring to do something harmful to you. And it was a crime. Either they were conspiring to rob you, steal your vehicle, um, steal a large sum of money from you, um, steal your freaking life, okay? As in take your last breath situation, okay? They gain karma for that. We have being used for resources and clout. Okay, so someone here is going to be getting used for resources and clout or something. I mean, this is what they were trying to do to you. We have simultaneously watching you rise as they fall. Confirmation. So as you rise, you will witness these people falling. Okay. I also was getting like, don't allow your heart, your big heart, to get you to help these people. Do not help them. I know if you're anything like me, you don't like to see people suffer. You don't like to see people in pain. You don't like to see people struggle, especially when you have the means to help them. I understand. But at this time, this is you need to allow these people to learn their lesson. Just like you were put in a situation where you were having to learn your lesson. And now you're going to be getting rewarded for it. Everything happens for a reason. You have to allow God to do what he do. Do not interfere with whatever lesson God is trying to teach these individuals. Otherwise, they're never going to learn and you're going to have to learn with them. If you try to help them, okay? Remember, these are people that were wishing everything bad on you. This is not something that they weren't wishing the best. I'll tell you that. Should I get out the shells? Let me see. Too many. What do we need to know at this time for their highest good regarding the situation? So they're going to get their karma. Someone is either someone is trying to avoid going to jail. Okay. They know it's coming up soon. They know something could have been discovered or whatever. Um, and they're trying to get out of it. Or somebody here is going to try to um, get you to be in jail or something. Or get you to be in a sticky situation. We have copycat. says trying to be just like you and do everything you do. And like I said, this could be something about a destiny, uh, destiny swap. So this could be someone here who knows that where they're headed. They know they're headed towards mental health problems or... Um, they know they're headed towards some sort of illness or they're headed towards some sort of literal ending, right? Or some sort of legal trouble. So they're going to try to get you to have legal troubles so that they could get your good karma. Does that make sense? Because as they rise or as you rise, they fall, right? So they want to rise as you fall. Does this make sense? They're trying to switch something. Someone's trying to switch something. It's, this could be the copycat. This could be someone who's trying to present themselves in, as in the spiritual as you when they're not. Someone here could have a dog, whoever this cabby cat is. They could have a dog. It says this person causing you negativity is a water sign. So this person could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who's your copycat. This person is definitely doing root work on you. It says seek someone to help you with a protection spell. Or you could just pray. Okay. Pray over your home. Pray over yourself. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, for you are a child of God. 
it says um blocked heart chakra this is somebody here who's definitely trying to get you to not be comfortable or feeling safe they're trying to get you to be ungrounded someone's trying to get you to look unsta unstable unstable or someone's trying to mess up with your stability whoever this copycat is this person doesn't want you to be supported by the universe or by spirit or by people in general it says causing you to feel lightheaded and severe headaches or migraines so there's a water sign here that's definitely trying to get you to have a headache or a migraine migraine or something like that like i said someone's trying to mess with your beauty your health what you do for work We have hating on your body image and your exercise routine. Someone here cannot stand this about you. That's what the root work could be about. It's petty. It says unexplained freak accident. This came out twice. Something here about an unexplained freak accident. This is what someone's wishing on you. This is so sad. People are sad. We have desert sage. It says warm peppery aroma causing purifying boosts inner strength relieves headaches ease anxiety pleasant thoughts okay so someone here could be trying to send you a lot of negative thoughts they could be trying to get you to feel anxious and nervous for some reason or fearful this could be somebody here who's trying to ch trying to send negativity to you listen your mind is very powerful continue thinking very pleasant thoughts someone's trying to get you to manifest negativity into your life okay Maybe you need to burn some sort of de desert sage or just sage in general. Tell me more. Or something that's cleansing. It says an ex-friend is still pressed by what happened. Okay, so maybe you pissed off an ex-friend and they're mad. They're still pressed. They could be, this could be the person who's doing root work on you. This could be the ex-friend who's hating on your body image or your exercise routine. Confirmations galore. Holy Spirit, holy angels. What's up with this ex friend? What happened in the past? Sugar coating? What does that mean? Maybe they. What happened in the past with this ex friend? Lover? Maybe this ex friend. know sugar coating lover tower maybe the this ex-friend they got broken up with maybe they felt like you didn't tell them the truth about somebody what is it what's up with this ex-friend this ex-friend could be a virgo Maybe you stopped communicating with this person. And so they're getting revenge on you. Because they don't like to see you winning. Or this is like an ex-friend who is down to a page of pentacles or something. They could be heartbroken because they went through a breakup. I don't know. I don't know why this is your problem. Maybe because they're not winning in life and you are. I don't know. We have blocked heart, or not heart chakra, blocked um, solar plexus chakra. Someone here is trying to mess with your willpower. They're trying to um, get people not to respect you or they're trying to lower your self-confidence. Says they secretly keep tabs on your every move. So someone is secretly taking, keeping tabs of you. We have third eye chakra. Someone's trying to block your... Um, your intuition we have masculine hater this could be someone who's masculine who's hating on you who's an ex-friend or this is an ex-friend that hates men okay who's hating on you i don't know we have black tourmaline it says okay so this could be an ex let me not get into it we have black tourmaline it says helps clear or repel negative energy from body home and work environment and assists with the user and feeling more grounded and peaceful. So some of you could benefit from working with black tourmaline. This bad, this bad boy right here. Tell me more spirit. 
We have own worst enemy. It says you cause most of your problems or most of the bad things that happen to yourself. Someone here is definitely doing root work on you and they're trying to get you to think that you're doing it to yourself, but you're not. This is what this ex-friend is doing to you. They want bad things to happen to you because they got bad things that are happening to them. They're going through towers. It says your ex is preying on your downfall and your new love interest. So we got an ex. We got an ex-friend. Okay. There's family somewhere in here. You got a copycat. You got a weird ass water sign hating on you. People are cyberbullying you. Your sister's losing their fucking mind. Um, you, this is a lot. There's a lot going on for y'all. Let's get out the shells, I guess. No, it's gonna take too long. Let me see. What else they need to hear so we can bounce? It's gonna take too long. It just is. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to hear right now for day has good regarding this situation? It says patience, okay? It says you're being asked to practice patience right now. It's not easy to do this, but you're strong and there's no reason why things aren't aligning in a way you want them to in this moment. It says have patience, it will eventually work out. So everything's going to work out the way it needs to work out, just chill. And then we have expand says you're being asked to expand you live in a huge world with endless possibilities and staying safe in the known is no longer working for you it's time to make your world just a little bit bigger it's time to imagine the possibilities and to go for them so it's time to take some sort of leap of faith here something about going outside of your comfort zone and then we have forgiveness it says withholding forgiveness only hurts you and prolongs the pain it's time to forgive someone or or maybe even yourself so you can stay on the path of your highest potential because that's the goal baby moving forward looking forward growing <laughs> showing no i'm just joking i don't know what i'm saying i tend to know what i'm saying and then we got pay attention at the bottom of the deck it says you're being asked to pay extra close attention to the signs you are being given both the subtle ones and the ones that you that can't be missed these signs will help you see how to best move forward in order to live your best life. So you are you have signs all around you right now that are trying to point you um, towards you living your best life. The best version of your life. Okay. And if you can't see these signs, you most likely need to take a spiritual fast. You need to do a spiritual fast. So you could have some more clarity. Um... What else do they need to hear so we can bounce? What do they need to hear, Spirit? We have sometimes walking away is the only option not because you want to make someone miss you or realize they took you for granted but because you finally respect yourself and know to know that you deserve better this is what this is this is what's happening somebody's mad because you decided to walk away because you know you deserve better it's not because you hate them it's not because you don't forgive them it's not because you're holding a grudge it's because you know it's the best option for you We have, have more faith in yourself. Be proud of how you are navigating every curveball that life throws at you. How you deal with those times shows your true inner resilience. Nothing can break that. That in itself is an inspiration for others. Keep shining your light. Don't give up yet, baby boo. The world needs you. Okay? What else they need to her? We have find ways to fill your cup. Be self full. Be self full. Follow your heart and always trust your intuition. Go deep within and find your triggers and address them one by one. Self healing is the best healing. 
Only then can you offer the best version of yourself. Figuring out what triggers you and being able to recognize them, understand them, and, and find healthy ways on how to cope with them will help lead you towards the path of self-mastery. So no one else can have power over you or nothing else could have power over you, okay? This is true this is true maturity here. And then we have don't allow anyone to abuse your power or take it away from you. Remember you will be treated how you allow others to treat you. Show them that you value yourself far too much to settle for anything less than you deserve. So listen, you don't deserve to be surrounded by people who don't give a fuck about your boundaries, who don't respect you, who don't respect what you believe in, you or don't value you. You don't deserve to be around people like that. You don't. And you don't have to be. And then at the bottom of the deck, it says, make it your mission to accept all parts of you, the good and what you perceive to be your imperfections. Don't look for any outside validation. It's already within you. Once you realize your true beauty and potential, you will never doubt yourself again. This is very powerful. You have to own it, baby. You gotta own it. What else they need to her? <clears throat> these are people. A lot of these people are learning a lot of lessons because the little old you. You got to understand this. This is the power that you hold. This is why you're so important to the Most High. Not not only are you obedient because not all of us. We all have a choice of whether we want to be obedient or not. Like in that song, Drummer Kick or Drummer Boy, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, it said something about the chosen few. Many are chosen, fewer whatever it's called. <laughs> Many are called, fewer chosen, right? We all have a choice of whether we want to go down this path or not. Some of us choose it and then we give up. And then they, whatever. All of us have a choice. And choosing the, the, the path less chosen, yes, it's going to be difficult, but it's going to be worth it in the end. It takes a lot of perseverance. It takes a lot of faith. It takes a lot of strength. But I am telling you, God will definitely come through with his promises. God's, God's checks don't bounce. This path is not, it's not for the weak hearted. This path is not for, for, the, for the weak ones. The weak ones will always be the ones that complain and say, I never chose this. This isn't my fault. Why is this happening to me? Those are the ones that are not even perceiving something from a higher perspective. They, they lack spiritual knowledge. They lack perspective. Those are the ones that don't really know who they are or the power that they possess. <clears throat> What's going on? Confirmation. I'm speaking some fucking truth right now. You could be a Jesus descendant. You know what comes along with this. It's in your blood. We got trauma. For some of you, there's a need for you to do some sort of exercise to release some sort of trauma. Maybe there's a need for you to go speak to somebody. Maybe you need to do some sort of talk therapy. Or maybe, like I said, you could do some sort of stretching 
for a lot of women a lot of trauma is built up in our hips so you can research that and see what works for you okay I also feel like whoever put you through a lot of trauma, they're definitely gonna get karma. You're going to witness these people's karma, okay? Because this trauma was meant to break you. And you kept going, baby. That's why you're gonna be getting some sort of success here. I'm telling you, God's checks don't bounce. They really don't. The only the only person that I fully trust being in a business collaboration with or working with is God. <laughs> you could be a tarot card reader. Okay. Wake up. Grab a brush, put a little makeup. Someone here is gonna be um having a wake-up call, or you're about to wake up a lot of people, or you're meant to wake people up, okay? Something like that could be happening for some of y'all, or I don't know. You're about to realize why you're here on this planet or something. Or why you had to go through what you went through. This is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I love you. Okay, bye.